User experience in the world of Salesforce is becoming an increasingly important topic. Whilst users enjoy working on Salesforce because of productivity gains and help in automating parts of their job, if the user interface of Salesforce is poor, this can result in unhappy users, less adoption, and ultimately less ROI on your Salesforce investment. In this video, we'll go through 20 features that you should consider implementing in all Salesforce orgs to create happy users. And I must give a shout out to Thomas Kieros, who originally created this article on salesforceben.com. Firstly, we have the themes and branding feature. This is a must have design feature to implement in all Salesforce orgs and allows you to customize the look and feel of your Salesforce to match your organization's branding. You can add your company's logo and a different selection of primary and secondary colors to create a unique experience for your users. Next up, you can further customize experiences for your individual teams by creating a unique Salesforce app one for marketing, one for sales, finance, etc. You can customize the tabs they see as well as set a default homepage. I'm sure by now you are familiar with the standard Salesforce login screen, but did you know that you have the power to make this completely unique to your organization? Firstly, you can set up a custom domain for your business instead of having the standard login Salesforce page. You can create a unique domain with your business name. Secondly, you can switch out the Salesforce logo for your own. And last but not least, you can swap out the Salesforce advertisement on the right with your own custom image. Although page layouts and lightning pages are some of the most basic features around in Salesforce, they are also the most powerful and also where things can go very wrong. For anyone that has added a bunch of fields to a page layout without considering their layout, you will know exactly what I mean. Since Lightning Pages have been around, we have had the ability to add, remove, or reorder components on the record page. With dynamic forms, we can create new components with specific fields. And with component visibility, we can select when these new components show on a page based on field values. For those interested in learning more, I would highly recommend this video by Christine Marshall that dives into dynamic forms in much more detail. Salesforce offers two display densities that can improve navigation. Firstly, you have comfy, a spacious view that takes up more space with labels on top of fields and increased space between page elements. And then you've got compact, a denser view with labels to the left of fields and less space between page elements. The compact view can drastically reduce the need to scroll for information. So once you go compact, you never go back. Next up, and something slightly different from compact navigation, compact layouts display a record's key fields at a glance in both the Salesforce mobile app and Lightning Experience. They also work when you hover over a related record in Salesforce. Perhaps lesser known, but quite similar to the compact layout in the sense of only showing a few fields, the ability to decide on the related list columns is something you should also consider when thinking about the user experience. For example, when looking at the opportunities related list on an account, users might find it more insightful to view the forecast category first and then the stage. As mentioned previously, one of the main benefits of lightning pages versus traditional page layouts is that we can significantly reduce the number of layouts required. Lightning pages support conditional components that can be configured to display or not display based on criteria that you define. You could choose to filter component visibility based on field values, record types, user profile or roles, standard or custom permissions, and also the type of device you're on, whether it's desktop or mobile. The possibilities are seemingly endless and super powerful. Rich text components are a great way to share specific information with your team. This can include text with formatting such as larger font or a different color for use cases such as important announcements, links to folders, links to a report, or even a picture celebrating the birthday of a user. These could be tied in with conditional lightning components to only show in certain scenarios. For example, if you have a tier one case, you can remind users with large red text saying, don't mess this up. There is nothing more annoying than opening Salesforce and having a ton of list views to scroll through to find the one you want. Organize list views according to the goals of your team's work. This can be achieved using proper naming conventions and numbers to create a logical sequence. Additionally, keep track of users with the manage public list views permission. This authority should not be assigned to everyone in the org as it allows editing all publicly available list views. 
If someone added an extra filter on a list view available to everyone else, this might just be the reason. The Salesforce path and associated guidance feature was one of the first obvious features of Salesforce Lightning when it was released. Path allows the admin to guide users through a step of business processes, such as working on an opportunity from a fresh lead to a successfully closed deal. At each step of a path, you can highlight key fields and include customized guidance for success. Additionally, users can directly edit the available key fields within Path, removing the need to navigate further down on the layout. Celebration is a fun feature that allows you to set confetti to pop up on screen when an opportunity reaches a certain stage. This can be set up in the Salesforce Path and is most suited to be turned on when an opportunity closes. Although this is just a bit of fun, closing an opportunity is an exciting moment for any sales rep and the confetti feature only adds to that. Although I might just turn it on for myself whenever I close lose an opportunity to give me a smile when I need it most. If you have teams working with multiple cases at the same time, then this feature is perfect for you. Salesforce supports multiple keyboard shortcuts to improve productivity and help users work more efficiently. Here are a few, including to open or close notes, save a record or bring up the search bar. Check out the full list in the post in the description. A user-friendly way to display information is with the use of icons, such a simple thing that it can completely change the user experience. Here are a few examples of where icons can be used. Firstly, list views. Add an icon while you write the list view name. You can also create an image formula field that shows data via images as opposed to text or numbers. For example, you can see here a lead score field represented with stars. This can also be shown on list views where you can see on the channel field. Finally, you can also show these images on Salesforce reports. Validation rules are an extremely effective way of ensuring that the information entered is in the right format before the user can save the record. This leads to cleaner Salesforce record data. Since we have to create an error message, and if you have the right company culture, you can even make it entertaining. Additionally, for even more complex messaging and an easier way to achieve complex validation rules with our Apex, as of winter 24, the new custom error flow component will definitely become your go-to for these scenarios. By using this new addition, the error message is no longer only plain text, and it can also reference field values or resources from within the flow. Search results and filters, if you do it right, no one will know you've done anything at all. They're just one of those things. Ignore them completely and your users will be unhappy with Salesforce, but they won't know why they're unhappy with Salesforce. We're all familiar with the global search at the top of the page, but if you haven't customized the search results for each object, then you might be letting down your users. Take opportunities. Sales reps, VPs and sales operations and even customer support probably search for an opportunity multiple times a day. Here I've searched for the term United Oil and have ended up with some search results that are almost impossible to tell apart from each other. You know this will frustrate your users who will probably click on each record trying to find the right one. However, if you customize the search columns, you can display relevant information to the end user immediately. Search filters add another layer to the user's capabilities. The filters on the left allow me to narrow down my search criteria based on the criteria you select. Available directly within the global search at the top of the Salesforce screen, Einstein search generate results immediately when you click on it and start typing. It offers the possibility to use natural language for broader searches. For example, my accounts or my leads have never been easier to find. As of winter 22, Einstein search is also turned on by default. Hence, it's only a matter of getting the information out there and tweaking the settings as needed. Letterheads for classic email templates can be found by navigating to set up and then letterheads. First, add your logo to a documents folder and make it externally facing. Once you've uploaded the logo, you should create some general HTML email templates for future usage. These look so much better than the default emails that get sent out from Salesforce with no formatting whatsoever. The possibility of having guided wizards for various processes across the organization is sure to sound appealing to both admins and users. Screen flows allow control at every step of the way, varying from simple filters for when and if a field should show up to background automations, default values, and more recently, on-screen formula reactivity. Screen flows can easily be added on lightning pages for users to make use of such step-by-step -step screens, either on their home page or on the standard or custom object. 
This feature was previously only available in Salesforce Unlimited and Performance Edition, but now you can include text and image components as widgets alongside the usual report chart and dashboards. Similar to rich text fields on the Lightning page, this adds an extra element for you to use to brighten up your dashboards. Last but not least, inline editing could not have been skipped from this list. While it may not be actually something you need to implement, the ability to edit records directly in list views and reports is amazing. This will ultimately lower the number of clicks for both new and experienced Salesforce users. Each option has its own considerations, such as edited fields being available on the page layout or not being a long text area. Users have the option to pick and choose which one they use as long as they know these options exist. User experience is becoming an increasingly important topic in the Salesforce ecosystem, so much so that Salesforce have created specific certifications and a career path on their Trailhead website. Although it's easy enough just to roll out features with no thought into how users will use them, the features listed above will help to hone your skills and create happier users in your Salesforce org. Enjoy.